So let's uh, look at 2018 paper 2. Now we're just revising assorted questions, right? Yes. So we have got a question on social and commercial arithmetics. So this is 2018 paper 2. Okay? Say a stove costs 3000 exclusive of value added tax. Calculate the cost of the stove if 16% VAT is added. Okay? If it is what included. If 16% is what included. Okay? Let me read through again. So it's saying the stove costs 3000 exclusive of VAT added tax, which is VAT. Okay? So VAT stands for, V stands for what? VAT. Then A added. Then T tax. Okay? So VAT means value added what? Tax. Are we together, guys? Then the person is saying, calculate the cost of the stove if 16% VAT, which is value added tax, is included. Are we moving together? Now, since they're saying uh, the VAT was ex this are uh, 3,000, they're saying a stove costs 3,000 exclusive. You need to understand the meaning of the word exclusive. Exclusive. Exclusive simply means uh, not included. I am moving together. Yes. Not included. Then the opposite word uh, for this word uh, exclusive is what? Inclusive. Are we together? So when they say exclusive, it simply means uh, VAT was not included. Exclusive means what? Not included. Are we together? So a stove costs 3,000 exclusive, meaning value added tax was not included. Are we moving together? So exclusive of value added tax, meaning value added tax was not included in this 3,000. Are we moving together? This 3,000 did not include the value added what? Tax. So which way do they use? It's what? Exclusive? Exclusive. This is the way they usually use. Right? Okay? I'm moving together, guys. Yes. Okay? But if they said a stove costs 3,000 inclusive of value added tax, simply means this uh, 3,000 includes what? Value added tax. But in, the, in this case, they're saying 3,000 exclusive of what? Value added tax. Mean in this 3,000, VAT was not included. Included. That's the meaning of exclusive. Why? Not included. Okay? Then, calculate uh, the cost of the stove if 16% value added tax is included. So if we include your 16%, if we add a 16% of 3,000 on this 3,000, what would be the, the cost of the uh, stove? So what we're going to do is, first we're going to find uh, the VAT. Hey, yes. Let's find the VAT. So let's find the value added tax. Are we together? Yes. Let's find the value added tax by saying value added tax is equal to now value added tax was uh, charged at how much? That was 16% time. Yes. So when you say 16 over 100 multiplied by 3000. So we want 16% of what? 3000. Are we together, guys? Yes. Okay? So VAT, which is value added tax, is equal to, you can say this zero and this zero are going to go. Yes. This zero and this one are going to go. Yes. So we are dividing with what? 16, 16 multiplied by 30. 30 quarter. Are we together? Yes. So let's multiply now. Value added tax is equal to, you can multiply now. Here, yeah, just do this. You can just do this, guys. Uh, 16. <coughs> Multiplied by 3, right? Yes. Okay? So 3 times uh, 6 is 18, right? Yes. 3 times 6, 18. Yes. So we're going to write 8, carry forward what? 1. one. 3 times uh, 1 is 3. Plus 1, get what? 4. So we have got 48. Now, remember, we have this 0, right? Yes. So this is now uh, 4, 4, what? 4, 8. 4, 8, what? Quarter. 4, and what? 8. Okay? 408, this is our what? VAT. But it's not what they want. They want uh, the cost of the stove if 16% VAT added tax is included. 
So I'm going to say now cost. Cost is equal to we have uh, the initial, which is what? Initial price what? 3,000. Okay? Yeah. I'll move it together. Mm -hmm. So this 3,000, it does not include what? <coughs> but, but they want us to find the cost of the stove if we include 16% VAT. Right? So 16% uh, it's what? 16% of uh, 3,000 is what? 408. So we're going to say plus 408. Are we together, guys? Yes. Let's now add. Okay, this is quarter. Zero plus zero. Yeah. This plus this. 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 Yeah. Okay. So we get what? 3,408. <coughs> this is the what? The cost of the stove. Okay? Yeah. If we include what? This thing percent what? But. Are we together? Mm. Yes. Let's uh, move on to uh, 2019 paper, paper 2. It's saying uh, a pressing a pressing iron. It's supposed to be a pressing iron. It's supposed to have iron this side. Okay, a pressing iron. If not. So a pressing iron is valued, is valued at what? Is valued at 115 quarter. Iron. 115. Inclusive of value added tax very important point inclusive very very important okay inclusive means uh value added tax in this case was included i it was included so in this 115 this 115 consisted of value added what tax meaning this 115 they included what that are we together this way it's very very important inclusive Inclusive, okay. In this other question, they said what exclusive. I so exclusive means not included. I inclusive means what included. Included. So they are saying a pressing iron is valued at what one fifteen inclusive of value added what tax. Okay, value added what tax. So in this one fifteen ID, in this one fifteen there was what uh, value added what tax. Okay, over. 15 percent so this 115 at 15 percent of what value <coughs> it what that's how it together yes. okay so given that value added that which is what is charged at 15 percent calculate the cost of a placing iron before that was included okay calculate the cost of the pressing iron before VAT was included. <coughs> so before including a 15% uh, VAT, what was uh, the price of the pressing what? Iron. What was the cost? Iron. Yeah. So step number one, we need to find 15% uh, of what? 159. So let's find the VAT. So I'm going to say now VAT. Let's find the VAT. Iron. It's equal to 15 over what? 100. Are we together? Yes. Multiplied by what? 150. 15. Are we moving together? Yes. yes. So in this case, we move on and say value added tax is equal to, we can reduce these figures, right? Yes. Okay, by saying uh, what is the highest common factor of 15 and 100? I mean, a number which can go into 15 and 100 without even any less what? Okay, 5. So 5 into 15 is what? 3. Is it okay? Yes. Then over. 5 into 100 is what? 5 into 100 is 20. I have 20. Then multiplied by 115. Okay? Are we together? Yes. Then uh, you move and say value added tax is equal to. Then we have a number which can go into uh, 20 and uh, 115. Yes. I think five and one. Yes. So first we just take our three. First write three i. Then over. So I saying five can go into this and this i. Yes. So five into uh twenty oh. is four. Are we together, guys? Yes. Then multiply it by now. Uh five into eleven is what? It's two. Remember what? One. Well, this one becomes what? Fifteen. 
Uh, 5 into 15 is what? It's 3. This one becomes what? 23. So, value added tax is equal to, we can now multiply. 3 times uh, 23, you get what? 16. 69 quarter. Eh? 69 quarter. 3 times 23 is 69. How to be? So, 69 what? 69 quarter. Is it okay, guys? So, you can now divide, divide by what? 4. How to be? So, can move on. Okay, can move on. Let's proceed. Okay? So we have 69 divided by what? 4. Eh? Okay? So value added that is equal to. Now, uh, what is uh, 4 into 6? It's what? It's 1. Remainder what? Remainder 2. So this one becomes what? 29. Right? We have 29. We know. 4 can go into 28. <coughs> I into uh, 28. Yes. How many times? Seven. Is it uh, seven times? Seven. seven times. Now this is 20 what? 29. So 4 into 29 is what? 7. Then I'm going to have a remainder of what? Remainder of 9. 4 into 1 is 0. Just put a point here. Eh? Are we moving together? Yes. Is it okay? Yes. Then you add the 0. Then 4 into uh, 1 is what? It's two. I'm going to write two. Then remember what? Mm. Remember what? Two. Very good. Okay. Then add a zero to times twenty. Okay. Then uh, four in two at twenty to get what? Get five. Okay. So we have uh, seventeen quarter twenty-five in way as the vat. Are we together, guys? Yes. Now we don't want the vat, but we want the cost. The cost of the basic iron. Before we included this, before this 17, this 17 quarter 25 was the VAT. But before it was included, then the person is saying, uh, calculate the cost of replacing iron before VAT was included. Then. Are we moving together? Yes. yes. So for us to find the cost, we're just going to say uh, cost is equal to 1, uh, 15, are we together? Yes. Minus iron. Minus 17. So is this 17, guys? Yes. Minus 17. Quarter 25. What? Wait. Let's subtract time. So we know uh, 0, okay? Uh, 0, 0, minus 25. Can time? 0, 0, minus 25. Can time? Yes. So we're going to get 1. Okay? Yes. Then I'm going to have 14 here. Then we put this one, so it becomes 100, right? Yes. This is 1, 0, this 100, right? Yes. So 100 minus 25 gets 70. 75, is it okay? Yes. Point, are we together? Yes. Then uh, 4 minus 7, can to get 1 here. Yes. We're going to have 0, then this one, so it becomes what? 14. 14 minus 1 get what? Sorry, 14 minus 7 get what? 7. Seven. Then this is 10, right? Yes. 10 minus 1 is what? 9. Yes. So the answer is what? 97 quarter 75 in way. 97 quarter 75 in way. That was because of the placing iron before that was included. Let us look at 2019. Okay? Yes. So 2019 is saying uh, Mr. Manda's gross salary was 4,000 a month. Are we together? Mr. Manda's gross salary was 4,000 a month. Okay? Given that 3,000 is, is what? 3,000 is supposed to be easy, not taxable. Is not what? Taxable. Is it that? Yes. Supposed to be is not, is not taxable. Sorry for that. So they are saying, uh, given that 3,000 is not taxable. Okay? 3,000 is not what? Taxable. Yes. I'm moving together. Meaning in this 3,000, they did not deduct tax. Tax was not deducted in 3,000. I'm moving together. When they say 3,000 is not taxable, meaning in 3,000, they never deducted any tax. Right? They never subtracted any tax. It was tax free. In some other exam papers, they're going to say 3,000 is what? Tax free. So when they say it is tax free, it simply means. Uh, Tax was not deducted. It was not deducted or subtracted from this what three thousand. Okay. And 
the tax rate for the remaining amount is 25 kwacha. Meaning the remaining, the difference of 4,000 and 3,000, the remains what? 1,000. In 1,000, that's why they exacted the 25 what? 25 kwacha. So 25 percent, thank you. 25 what? Percent. In the remaining, are you moving together? The monthly salary for this person was 4,000, right? Now, out of 4,000, they are saying 3,000 3, was tax free. It, uh, tax was not deducted. Aye? Yeah. Okay, tax was not deducted. Okay? Given that 3,000 is not taxable. When they say it's not taxable, mean in this 3,000, okay, tax was not uh, removed. It was not deducted. Deducted. Are we together, guys? Yes. Okay? Now, the tax rate for the remaining amount is 25%. Okay? So, meaning, tax was only deducted from the remaining amount, which is uh, 1,000, right? Yes. yes. So, from 1,000, 25% of 1,000 was the tax. One of say, uh, how much tax does he pay? Are we together? So, you what you're going to do is, since we are saying uh, the tax was rated at 25% line, okay, from the remaining amount. So I'm going to say tax, tax paid, tax paid is equal to 25% out together over 100 what percent multiplied by, now they are saying the remaining, the remaining amount, okay, tax was deducted from the what? The remaining, how do we do that? Now, the remaining amount, just say this person, okay, was getting 4,000 dying.